Good morning. This is Shirley, herb lady in Alaska. I was looking at videos this morning while I was eating breakfast, and some of them is over 40 years old. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to see your babies, and they're already old, but older, and now they was little babies. They're so cute. But anyway, we're going to talk about ashwagandha today, and. Um, I've sold some of this and I thought it was real good because I, you know, I've studied about it. Uh, just surface study and now today's detailed study and I'm, detailed means another herb that I just added to my, <laughs> when I say myself, I am a herb lady. I mean, <laughs> I, I have more herbs, I take more herbs than I eat food. But ashwagandha, it's one, uh, I, you know, I was studying with that, said it was really good for the immune system. But today, what I'm going to be reading it, it's also wonderful for the brain. And it says it's the only one that repairs every aspect of the brain. The only herb that takes care of every aspect of the brain. Some does this, and some does that, and some does. But this one does every. And I'm going to read that in detail when I get down to the paragraph. And I was going, whoa, this is another herb I need. <laughs> because um, it really works with the brain and you want, you, you want to remember. And I thank God, I thank God every day for uh, the herbs that he has given us because it, a lot of us, our parents didn't eat right. And when they didn't eat right, we wasn't perfectly when we was babies. I mean, we was missing this or missing that, you know, uh, maybe slow in, um, learning stuff and all that stuff, but you start taking an herb and like uh, I've helped so many kids with focused attention and it, it take them from a, a C student to an A student or an F student to a C student and because see if you're missing vitamins and minerals and the mom's eating sugar all the time, see sugar to, for it to digest it takes all the vitamins and minerals out of your body. So here what it's doing is and it makes you short circuit, and even the babies, they're not getting anything. But you start taking focused attention, it feeds the, the transmitters of the brain so they can uh, memorize and things like that, so it really helps. But let's get to ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is the most valuable herb rem remedy uh, in the medicine in India over 6,000 years. Whoa. Uh, they, they've known about it. Maybe that's why a lot of them in India are so smart, especially with computers. Ashwagandha um, is a tonic that promotes physical and mental health and well-being. Ashwagandha is prized for the ability to combat stress, enhance vitality, um, energy, and increase mu muscle strength. And a lot of men should know read about this because I've got a lot of young boys. I want to build muscle. Well, take ashwagandha. I mean, yes, they have to take protein and everything, but ashwagandha helps too. Fortifies the immune system. According to uh, ashwagandha is taken for health problems such as weakness, exhaustion, fatigue, stress, anxiety, inflammation, poor resistance against infection. Um, Impotence, infertile. Um, mo modern studies have confirmed uh, ashwagandha is, helps with anti-arthritis, anti-depressant, anti-inflammation, antioxidant, anti-stress. The primary con uh, is um, it helps with many therapeutic uh, benefits. Ashwagandha is well known to reduce stress and anxiety in humans. In animal research, it has been confirmed that it helps anti-stress with animals and antidepressant. In an eight-week blind study, um, it helped. They found out that ashwagandha honestly helped a lot of de-stress, and um, and it helps women, especially in eating behaviors, food craving, and habit. <laughs> And happiness. <laughs> the hormone produces is response to stress and body weight. <laughs> ashwagandha 
they used it for 60 days and um, it helped them to um, help them up to 64 to 75 percent. Um, the ones that didn't take it, they only improved by 10 to 12 on their own percent. Studies have shown ashwagandha is anti mood lifting. Um, it was a 60 day trial and it demonstrates improvements with ashwagandha. 41% uh, the ones that was taking it and only 24% and the, the ones that wasn't taking it. The improvement went it's 30% versus 10% if you take ashwagandha. So um, a lot of the companies are you know, using this trying to see why it's so much better. Um, it helps with the immune system. It helps with the heart. It helps with stress. It helps with reproduction, mood behavior. It helps with anxiety, depression, disorders. Ashwagandha uh, appears to improve GABA and serotonin, the two brain transmitters and antitransmitters. And ashwagandha is an antioxidant, anti-inflammation. Ashwagandha is a mind rejuvenator. Now this is what I was talking about. It's a nerve tonic used to promote mental health, enhance memory, improves in intelligence, improve brain function, relieve brain fatigue. Everybody that works on a computer should be taking ashwagandha. Um, ashwagandha is the only herb. Now, it says the only herb in this research paper. The only herb that it, herb that is capable of enhancing all aspects of <laughs> cognitive function including learning, memory, and recall. And it also helps the uh, HPTX and balancing and releasing the brain transmitters of the serotonin and dopamine. Uh, it improves memory. Research has shown in an eight-week double-blind study found the ashwagandha intake results in general memory compared to not taking it. The ashwagandha group demonstrated greater improvement in sustaining attention, inflammation, process speed, executive function, mental flexibility, verb, planning, work, memory, it shows that it was improved reaction time and test in the healthy adults. Ashwagandha is referred to Indi Indian ginseng. It is used to rejuvenate the body, increase youthful vigor, and promote longevity. And it helps with men and women being overweight. It helps them to lose weight because the body starts moving faster. The brain starts moving faster. Uh, ashwagandha associated with greater increase of levels of testosterone and DHEA. Uh, testosterone and DHEA are two important hormones for mental health and cognition and for your heart function, for lean body mass, for bone density, uh, for sexual health. Aging men associated with lower qualities of life reduce, they add ashwagandha, and it promotes muscle strength, endurance, it improves and recovery. It helps with VO2, the studies that demonstrate they improve muscle strength in untrained healthy volunteers. According to tradition, ashwagandha is highly esteemed in system tonic recommend for stress 
induce male sexual defunction impotence, male infertile, which accounts for 15% of all cases. Research has shown that ashwagandha improved semen, regulates reproduction hormone levels. Out of the five centers in India, five infernal centers, ashwagandha increased semen's value by 53% to 167%, and sperm from 57 compared to only a little improvement, improvement of ones that wasn't taken it. Greater improvement in regulation in the hormone levels are noted in ashwagandha. Biomarkers and antioxidant vitamins. However, ashwagandha also appears to improve sexual disinfection in women and found comparative to ashwagandha results in sexual distress as well as improvement in sexual defunction. It helps with arousal, lubrication, number of successful sexual encounters at the end of the study. Ashwagandha is antibacteria, antifungus, positive effect on the immune system, cell activated, um, ability to improve resistance against infection, enhanced recovery from chronic illness. Furthermore, a study on breast cancer patients have undergone chemotherapy found that ashwagandha help chemo to induce helps with fatigue, improve quality of life. Parent patients have ashwagandha also a better 24 month survival rate compared to those in a controlled group that went up from 76% versus 56%. The ashwagandha that's in um, Nature Sunshine has the bahoba leaf in it, and that's for memory and enhances learning, has a sujanda fruit in it, has performance, and it has anti-stress, antioxidant for your brain, your immune system, for every, almost every part of your body. So I would say enjoy your ashwagandha.